there are plastics in there. Now for the uh, end of our presentation, we would like to hand out some water bottles that we had custom made from the money donated by Toshiba to help out the environment. And as you can say right here, they say, I am reusable, so reuse it and save the ocean. Sorry, no. please. All right. Oh okay, go. Ready? Plastics in the ocean. <laughs> go. You can do it. All right. Marine debris is trash mm -hmm. created by humans. It's normally plastic or other material in the ocean. Uh, human influence over the past 40 years has been a huge influence on the marine environment. It poses a serious threat to fish, seabirds, reptiles, marine mammals, and uh, boats and coastal shores. So, all in all, this marine debris builds up and it's been harming the environment for decades. Yeah, because the problem with this is it doesn't degrade like other things, it just stays. Okay, so it comes, there's two different ways it can get into the ocean, land-based or marine-based, ocean-based. And ocean-based is when, like, a ship throws something over the side, or, like, a, like a ship sinks and all its cr stuff gets thrown into the ocean. And land-based is, like, from landfills or weight or litter. And, like, when a storm comes, it'll all get washed into the ocean. And that's, that's actually, a lot more comes from the land than it does from the ocean. So some of the problems with trash in the ocean is animals will eat it and that's called ingestion so they'll eat it and it might be toxic or it might choke them or what what will happen is they'll eat it and they can't digest it because it's plastic and so they won't be able to eat anything else and they'll die of starvation also another problem is entanglement which is them basically getting caught in anything that is marine debris like a six pack container which this fish obviously when it was a baby got caught in one of those and then it grew into it or just nets in general. And so entanglement is a huge issue that affects most marine mammals and an other animals. Yes. Yeah, oh, this affects, usually it affects larger animals, and they can suffocate from it, or they grow into it like that, and they'll slowly get strangled until they like, die. And it also affects the ecosystem, like coral reefs or their homes, which makes it harder to reproduce or even live where they normally live. So, something interesting that happens is, um, there's, this, there's these gyres in the bigger parts of the ocean, and trash will collect in the middle of the gyre, which is, a, the gyre is like a circular current that goes around right here, and so because it's circular like that, all the, all the trash, it goes clockwise, all the trash gets concentrated in the middle, and so what happened was there's like a giant ball of trash in the middle of the ocean, and it's about twice the size of Texas. And so what you can do is the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Obviously reduce what you use, large amounts of paper or plastics. Reuse things like, you know, sweet metal water bottles or uh, grocery bags. And then recycle, like go out into cans, recycle your plastics rather than just throwing them away. And So, yeah, you can reuse shopping bags, get the, get the, or the cloth ones that you can get instead of just using paper or plastic, and that really helps. Shoppers use 500 billion to 1 trillion plastic bags per year. Or so. use these nifty little metal water bottles that you can reuse over and over again, instead of getting just plastic ones. Uh, and Toshiba, yeah, Toshiba us get these gave us bottles. money to make the water bottles, and so, thanks. That's it. Yeah. All right. Yay, that was awesome.